In this video, I will show you how to use reference sets in UGNX. But before I explain you how to use it, I would like to explain you how, what are the benefits of using uh, reference sets in UGNX. So on the screen, you can see a model one, okay, which is a square block and it has different features like sketches and data planes and coordinates which are used for creating this block. Now we have another part which is a model 2 and again same thing we have multiple uh, sketches, coordinates and planes which are used for creating this part. Now we have created one assembly in which we have added model 1 and model 2. And now here you can see that uh, there are like planes and coordinates and all sketches which are used for creating these parts are visible and it makes very difficult if you have multiple parts in your assembly to understand what exactly having uh, what is exactly the interface is right so we want only the solid bodies to be shown okay so here in UGNX there is a reference sets kind of feature uh, which allows you to show what you want like for example in this part in this block I want to show only the solid block so I have that uh, feasibility here like if I go to model 1 right click on it and go to reference replace reference sets and here like multiple options are there model entire part and empty so here you see entire part is dead it is dead because you have selected it so whatever you select it will show as a dead you can select it again right so if I select empty so it will show nothing because in empty reference sets there will be nothing selected okay I will go again there right click on it go to replace reference sets and select the first option which is model so I only I can see the model there are no planes and all right so how we are uh, using or how we are creating those reference sets I will be showing in you a minute or so but before uh, let's understand uh, the thing which is uh, like how to do it again right so I'll go to again model 2 right click on it go to replace reference sets select a model okay now let's understand how we are creating these reference sets go to the model and here you can see uh, the model uh, which is a rectangular block now I will go to the assemblies tab here then go to the more and here you can select in the bottom reference sets okay the another option is that directly in the search command you can type reference sets and you will get the command directly you don't need to go through all these things directly you can search here you can see that there is three options or three reference sets model entire part and empty in empty there will be nothing selected so you will see nothing in entire part everything will be selected so you have you will see each and every feature of this model tree in the model you have you can see that only one object is selected which is this block so only this block can be selected for example if i need to if i want to create a new reference set where i want to show only this block with this coordinate and nothing else so what i will do i'll go here and add new reference set click on it the new reference set uh, rename uh, or name you have to give like so I will rename it or give name it as solid underscore or dash coordinate okay press enter and double click on it okay now you have to select what thing you want to show in this solid coordinate reference set. so I will select this body and it will show that one object is selected now I want to show this coordinate also so you can select coordinate so it will show two objects selected now close this window now go to the assembly level here 
now you can see that only a uh, solid model uh, is visible right I want to like for example I want to show the coordinate of this block also so in that case I will go to model 1 right click on it go to reference set and recently I have created this solid coordinate right so select on that and you will see that the coordinate is visible here so this is how the reference sets can be used so whatever uh, the visibility you want to show of uh, child parts you can directly achieve in the assembly level so i hope you like the video and if you do so please subscribe to the channel and also hit the like button thank you so much for watching